What cloud vendors do you use? Cloud vendors. Personally, I'm, I pro pretty much all the big bank stocks somehow touch my uh, phone at any given time. What cloud vendors do you use? Uh, Cloudflare, uh, then other than that, uh, Microsoft, and just like OneDrive mostly right now. What cloud vendors do you use? Microsoft Azure. We currently use Dropbox as a cloud vendor. Personally, Microsoft, Google, Gmail, and uh, main ones, and then like Amazon is its own for uh, you know your shopping. Do you think using the cloud is convenient? Yeah, very. Makes 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 the world an easier place. Do you think using the cloud is convenient? Yes. It is very convenient to use the cloud um, since we are able to share documents with um, team members. For certain things, but it also probably makes it, like anything with technology, I wouldn't say it makes us too easy, but it's too, you'd lose out on other factors of real life, like of the physical world. The cloud world gives, puts us in a virtual place. The cloud delivers, you know, groceries to our door faster. You know, the question is, that is that really helping us out or making us just more reliant upon technology, which being in a security space obviously scares me because the more reliant upon technology and we can't do things ourselves, such as even communicate, because that's all to me is all social media is, is a challenge of I'm pushing information out to you, but yet I'm not having that face-to-face -face conversation. So it all depends. What things do you do to stay safe in the cloud? Uh, just basic, uh, like when I'm lo like when I'm logging on or going to pull anything from there, uh, just like two uh, two FA, just keeping that on pa passwords, just like away and like uh, and like and like key pass something encrypted. Two factor authentication is the by far the easiest thing anyone can do to just layer on um, another you know barrier to entry. Don't be the low lowest hanging fruit. If you do any banking, uh, not just for yourself, but I I've, I always try to tell my uh, my older relatives how to set up 2FA just because it stops a lot of the, uh, the phishing and social engineering to get your passwords. Things that I do to stay safe in the cloud could be protecting my password, making sure it's not provided to anybody else, also making sure the documents we save there uh, can be also encrypted. Change my password frequently, multi-factor authentication. You're asking a security person this one. Just there's a long put a firewall in place, uh, antivirus. No, it's it's making sure that your machine is still secure, that uh, my kids' machines are secured, that they're not accessing inappropriate stuff and potentially causing a breach of their machines, which breaches my home network, therefore my company machine. So, but yeah, a lot of just the typical things that we're out there preaching out on the ground to our clients is kind of bringing those back home and making sure that the network's safe, the endpoint safe, and the authentication safe. That's a two-hour webinar. <laughs> Don't take security lightly. <laughs>